Okay. All right. Look at this place. All right. So, welcome to your room, Mr. Josephs. <laughs> Okay, so this is our crown suite facing west. Come on in. Wow. Wow. Look um, at the bears. The bears out there. <laughs> yeah, I'll turn off the lights so you can see outside. Yeah, no, I can see. I already yeah. This is gorgeous. I've seen some gorgeous properties in my life um, and been taken to some cool places, but I don't think, I think this might be the, the cream. Yeah. Well, we designed it so that, you know, a lot of nature lovers and photographers who maybe have, like, spouses who aren't as into nature and aren't into photography can be really, really comfortable. And actually, oftentimes, when, you know, somebody goes out to photograph and somebody decides to stay behind, because the bears notice that the camp is quieter, the people that stay in the room and they're comfortable to get bed get to have really awesome, awesome sightings as well, which that. normally drives their spouses crazy because they spend <laughs> all this time out in the mud. But everyone has a great time. Um, we are fully solar powered, so, uh, you know, as you can run a hair dryer, you can have a coffee machine if you even want it, so there's no reason to really sacrifice any comfort coming out here. Um, we have water connected, uh, you know, uh, from the spring box, mm -hmm. so we have, you know, hot water on demand in the showers as well, and even a private bathroom, so uh, you, know, you have some privacy when you want to do that. Wow. Um, we even have remote control heater, so if you wanted to turn it on, I'm going to click it on it with light up in two seconds. Wow, that is sweet. Yeah, so you can have it on a thermostat if you want to. The mode just switches to that and mm -hmm. just decide your desired temperature. And as long as the remote is on the other side of the room, it'll make sure that the room is heated to that temperature and maintained. Wow. Mm -hmm. One of the things I think is amazing um, is that it is a three-story building and that you said that you did that because you could make the footprint less, right? Yeah, so if we step outside, I can show you a little bit. And the thing that's cool about that is also is that the view from up here is amazing. I'm sitting there watching the, I can see bears every time I look yeah. out the window. So um, when we chose the site for this location, I personally came out and saved every single tree I wanted to save. Um, there's a bear trail right here that's kind of iconic and you can see all the way down it from the log cabin, which is one of the original structures of the property. And then these trees that you see here are kind of the biggest ones of a thicket that were growing. And it was so dense that I couldn't stick my arm through without getting scratched up. The bears weren't walking through that thicket either. They go for the path of least resistance. So they were walking around it. So as far as they're concerned, the thicket has just changed material and shape, um, but it actually hasn't changed their path at all. We also wanted to make sure that people slept comfortably. So they were up and not on the ground floor. So those who are a little nervous about bears, could you know rest easy knowing that they're very much yep. out of their way even though this place is enc encircled by a strong electric fence which yeah. i think is a very good idea yes and we have multiple doors as well so the doors that lead to the staircase as well and that's like the most important one to make sure it's closed so um this we have windows because it actually does get hot in here so mm -hmm. normally you don't even need to run the heat because you're getting so yeah. much sunlight um, but the windows are there so that on the days that it is hot you can open them and it's always cooler where the forest is so then you can pull in air from the forest nice um but the idea for this veranda is because the bears were historically i mean you can see there are bear trails yeah they were walking through and in front of this thicket here sure and so if someone wasn't comfortable being on the ground floor with the bears walking by they could watch it all from above um and even photograph them from above and actually recently i guess took a really awesome photo of a bear with a full reflection in that little pond which is an angle that you wouldn't be able to get from lower down wow so it just kind of offers a different vantage point you have a really good view of what's going on this edge uh yes um, and yeah. you get to kind of follow the bears as they walk around the yeah pond. we've already seen a ton and i've only been here a couple hours yeah exactly and um yeah so you can enter your room, you know, bears are over here instead of having to go through that door and come all the way around. You can yeah. just enter, exit through the front of your Convenient, room. Convenient, yep. And um, I want to show you something downstairs that uh, will take us a minute to get to, but if I can, let's okay, do it. Okay, let's do that. So last year we had uh, various, uh, you know, photographers and nature enjoyers and birders and different people that kind of covered a lot of different people that we wanted to serve with this property um, to sort of see how they use the space and what they felt was missing. And one of the major points of feedback that I got, because we are trying to contain the people so that the bears can roam wild and on all the paths that they've always walked for generations, we wanted to make sure that people had an escape or like a release where they could be outside, enjoy the, you know, enjoy the environment without having to, you know, take away a path that the bears would have liked to walk. Sure. Yeah. So this is like a nice big deck. And when it's sunny, you can literally just 
take a nap in those chairs. It's wonderful. Totally comfortable. We have thermosels as well, so you're not being eaten by mosquitoes. Um, if you like birding, I mean, I'm hoping that we can put up some, you know, little bird feeders maybe, or maybe just little perches so that we yeah. can do some birding up here. Because birding is something you can't do that well in a bear country if you're on the ground, because you don't want to be so silent that a bear doesn't realize you're there. Sure. Um, but you have to be silent to be able to get some of the rarer birds. So I'm hoping that up here you can spend some quiet time as well. Yeah, I think, um, yeah. Um, hanging some suet feeders up here where the bears can't get them uh, yeah. would be really good. Suet, yeah. Suet's nice. And a lot of the birds will appreciate it. Yeah. Okay, so here you can see the trail yeah. that the bears like to use. Yeah. Um, when people come up from their outings, mm -hmm. there's the mud room downstairs but uh, sometimes you want you left your slippers up by your room or something. So it's totally fine if you come up totally muddy. I mean, kind of from here down, it's normally expected to be a little bit dirty, but we actually built in a, a boot washing station. So it's up above ground mm -hmm. and it, this is warm water. So if you're washing off, you're having to work with your hands to clean your tripod or something like that, your hands aren't like painfully cold. Sure. So this is nice warm water. We're gonna get little hoses and stuff too. And then you, you have like boot scrapers as well. And so this nice. drains directly down, which is great. And then it also keeps the upper decks cleaner. So then you can walk around in your warm, cozy slippers. We always encourage people to bring sandals as well. Um, but if you wanted to just like sit and work here, cause there's great, great Wi-Fi, you can sit here and be a lookout for the people that are below and let them know that there's a bear coming. And you can just send them a little text or something. Yeah. And, and actually, I mean, look how close the ground feels. Yeah, in fact, there's a steaming pile of bear poop right there. Yeah. yeah. So the idea is that you have the perfect vantage point to see into the private lives of bears in the forest, but also out in the sedge. You know, they know that this building is here. They're accustomed to it with and without people. So, so long as you're not doing anything to really change the shape and like the energy around the building, they're pretty fine with you watching them. I mean, it's kind of like lions in a safari vehicle. If mm -hmm. you're sitting in there, they know what to expect. You're predictable. Um, if you stand up, they might get a little nervous. If you step out, they really don't like it. But you can get so close to a lion in a, in a vehicle, you can get just as close with the bears here because they just know what to expect of us when we're contained. So I call this like a reverse zoo. People are, <laughs> yeah, exactly. people are contained. Animals go free. Yeah. And it just lets us get much, much closer to them, but in a way that is safe. Um, everyone feels more comfortable. And it also just is less disruptive. So we're kind of hoping to model that. So we embrace the safari model of letting wildlife walk through camp. We're yeah. Kind of, we take it on ourselves. Like the wild camp. Yeah. Like in Africa. Sure. Yeah. We take it upon ourselves to take the measures that we need to feel comfortable um, without imposing anything unnecessary on the yeah. bears. So and I will say from experience, this is a hot zone for bears. Oh. There are constantly bears yes. going through, doing cool things, scratching on trees, yeah. just uh, in the fireweed right in front of yeah. camp, um, doing everything, yeah. chasing each other around. If you've seen the, there's like an Apple TV show that was uh, filmed here and that tree right there. I was the like, guide for it. Yeah. Oh, you were. Yes, that's right. <laughs> um, that, I know. I know yeah, we did that. Yeah. Those are like the different rub trees. And we've kind of also... Um, yeah. Our best to make sure that if you're up here, you can kind of get an interesting angle too. So that's another rub tree that's really yeah. popular with a couple of our bears. Yeah. Um, Everybody loves to see bears rubbing yeah. on trees. Yeah. So they do some really awesome rubs yeah. all along here. And I so know. it's also it's great to have this vantage point. This actually, this whole space, I mean, if you have batteries <clears throat> on your phone, we can go down. Go I do. Spot. Yeah. So this space right here. Yep. So this is a last minute addition. Originally, the stairs were gonna be sort of where the building ended, mm -hmm. where the wall ended. Um, and then I realized I forgot the most important part of why I designed the building the way that I did, which is that I want you to have a front row seat to the bears rubbing on the trees. So oh, okay, this is like a little blind. It is blind. So you can take a seat if you want. <laughs> um, Amazing. And we have, you know, it's really important for photographers to be able to shoot at eye level or below. I and mean, yeah. it just feels really epic. Mm -hmm. And so these windows open. You can sit here kind of ready to go with the window already open and yeah. have your camera. You can put bean bags if you want bean bags or tripods. And we can take down the fence if you're going to be spending time here. Uh, but then you're basically, you know, ready to get an incredible shot of a bear rubbing just a few meters away. Um, wow. And if you, you know, just want to watch, this is actually pretty nice. Yeah. <laughs> rest your head and see it going on. Yep. Um, wow. Open too. So I'm sure you're gonna get plenty of plenty of shots of bears like this. And these windows wrap all around the building. Mm -hmm. So as bears walk by, 
you could get a photo because photographers were saying um, there's one photographer in particular was like it's torture to be in a building and not be able to take a photo with my glass you know they don't want to you spend thousands of dollars on really really nice lenses you're paying for that really high quality glass mm -hmm. to make sure that the image you don't want to shoot through this stuff you don't want to shoot through a window and so no that's way. why it was important that the windows open without Absolutely. having to step outside and um, I didn't want photographers to be tempted to go outside on their own when there was yeah. a bear and no one was around. So my mm -hmm. solution for that was, okay, windows and an electric fence to make, you know, it's like a second barrier, but windows that open so you can take photos with nothing in the way safely mm -hmm. and you sleep literally in the building that you can do that from. So you can come, if you're awake in the early hours, you might as well be down here when no one else is awake and making noise and seeing what bears come by. You might be the one who gets the most incredible footage ever because you were here putting in the work and you have Wi-Fi. It's heated, there's a bathroom, there's two bathrooms on the ground floor here. You could have coffee and tea, like this can be the place that you spend your time. Or you can stay upstairs in your room, mm -hmm. either way. And one of the things I love about just being able to look out into the sedge is you can normally tell when bears are coming into camp. Mm -hmm. So you can spend your time on your computer kind of keeping an eye on that one bear that you're waiting for. And then when they get close enough, you come downstairs just to wait for them. Um, yeah. basically to walk by camp. So uh, it's really exciting. Yeah, and there's a lot of opportunities for bears with fireweed, which is one of the best things. Yeah. It's yeah. my favorites. Especially on that side. Yeah. Yeah, anyway. Yeah. Cool. Here we are at Brown Bear Bay, and uh, that was pretty amazing. This is we call this the bear blind, so we can just open the windows, and it's right by the bear um, trail, and so they get excessively close, um, and they don't care, and we just sit here quietly and just watch them go by. Or, anyway, that was a mother and a second, like third summer cub, and she really wanted to nurse, um, into making that super, super loud alarm call. Um, to, to nurse, it actually can draw in predators, so she didn't feel comfortable nursing here. She wanted to go to some secret safe place, uh, but she also wanted the cub to shut up quick because it can uh, bring in other bears, so like, oh, there's a cub, and so it's a, it's a dangerous thing, so she doesn't want that cub screaming, but she also has to be in a safe place to nurse. So she uh, cruised on by and then went out into the, into the woods somewhere. So but that was a, a very loud cub. <laughs> it was really cool. Yeah. Yeah, that's just like an old female. Yeah. She's gonna walk by. Could have gone this way, closer, but she wanted to give more space. Yeah, she's gone. That's cool. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, very nice. Thank you. Sure. You guys are just eating dinner and there's just some bears walking up. Mm -hmm. I don't get it. It wants a bowl of soup. <laughs> <laughs> we want some soup. Look at this dude. All right. <laughs> we got a bear and some fireweed. <laughs> Looks like a teenager.
teenage male. That looks like, is that Chris Ang's bear? Yeah, he was here earlier. He yeah. looked me in my eyes. Chris Ang. He did? I kept telling people there was a bear out the window. Look at the, the bear in the far away. <laughs> Wait, really? That's nice. It's not like Chris Ang's bear, but he just took an iconic photo of that bear. Is it a female or a male? Male. Male. It's a long neck. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He did He's gonna do a trick for us. I've had some nice views at certain places where I was eating dinner, but <clears throat> ah, nothing compares to this. <laughs> I mean, this is a whole different. It's a joke. Oh man. It seems like they're starting to get up and active a little bit now. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Beautiful. Wow. I'm just curious what he'll do, just so I know the tolerance. Mm. I love it that the bears just don't mind that the camp is here and they just they don't do anything bad and it's just coexist. You know, why not?